Wildlife, wildlife. Just me singing randomly. G'day guys, it's Joe here, and today we are playing. This is the hardest would you rather mobile game quiz you'll ever take. So, let's see. I'm like a bit of a gamer, although I don't call myself a gamer, I just did anyway. I like to play some video games here and there. So let's see what they got Clash of Clans or Cl Clash Royale. Uh, Clash of Clans. Liked that when I played it like once or twice. Stump Jump or Flappy Bird? Flappy Bird? Never heard of Stump Jump. Fortnite or a PUBG? Ho! Oh, oh, Ho! Okay. Okay, so in my defense, I've only played Fortnite. I haven't played PUBG. And I would probably play PUBG more. Just because Fortnite. Good game. It's just. The stigma around it's kind of killed it for me, and PUBG is a lot more like military based, which seems a lot more my style. Plus, PUBG sounds cooler. <laughs> Pokemon Go or Minecraft? Pokemon Go! I am obsessed with. Well, I was obsessed with Pokemon, and Pokemon Go was good when I played it. I stopped playing it, my dad still plays it, which is kind of funny, but um. It was, it was fun to play, I have to admit. Tumble Run or Subway Surfer? Ooh, loved both of these games. I loved Temple Run because I felt like I was Indiana Jones or Lara Croft and I was running around through a temple and, you know, dodging things and it was really fun. Whereas Subway Surfer, I felt like a rebel kid who was like, you know, jumping on trains and all of this stuff. So it was the same basis, but just two different worlds. Um. I did like, I think I liked Temple Run more as a kid. I'm trying to think. I played Subway Surfer a lot longer, but I played Temple Run more frequently. Uh, I'm gonna say Temple Run because I got the second one as well. Yeah. Agar, Agar, Agar.io or hold. Agaro, Agaro. Candy Crush or Tomb Blast? Don't know what Tomb Blast is, but Candy Crush for the win. That was a good game. Cross, Crossy Roads or Frogger? Oh, I played both of these. Crossy Road. Uh, amazing feels in it now. In the game. Nice. Angry Birds or Cut the Rope? I mean, I liked Cut the Rope because that was challenging for me and it was a lot of fun. I loved Little Monster. Creativity wise, you know, it was really good. Angry Birds. I liked. That was a lot of fun too. Because you got to like, what's the word? I'm saying like a lot, I need to stop doing that. Because in the game you got to like shoot birds and it was a lot more creativity wise and it explored a lot more than Cut the Rope did. But I like Cut the Rope more, I think. But I played a lot more Angry Birds, but I preferred Cut the Rope. See, this is the thing with me. If, and this sounds so bad, but, confession. If there is something in the game that is too complex, I will stop playing the game. If there's a level I can't do, and I've tried persisting it for a long period of time, so five minutes or more, I will stop playing the game. If I really liked it, I'll come back to it later. If I didn't like it, I just won't come back to it. And I think that's what kind of happened with both of these games, to be honest. There might have been like a level or whatever I couldn't do, and I would just leave it. And then just never returned. Which is sad, but that was reality. So, cut the rope. Fruit jump. Fruit jump, wow. Fruit ninja or doodle jump. Again, fruit ninja. Love this. Fruit ninja in VR is amazing. I played it at this like gaming cafe that my boyfriend took me to, which I love. Fruit ninja is amazing. Love that. Doodle jump, I still play to this day. But I also play Fruit Ninja a lot more, so Fruit Ninja. Because Fruit Ninja I love. Doodle Jump's great, don't get me wrong. Like, the different backgrounds you could have chosen. I'm pretty sure you could change the character. No, you couldn't. That, that was great and all, but... Having Fruit Ninja, you could like slice fruit and it tell you fruit facts. And, you know, just being able to change the blades and the backgrounds. It was a lot more customizable and a lot more informative. Which I quite enjoyed because I'm a kid who loves like their science and um, even though they're really bad at it as a class, I love to learn scientific stuff. 
so being able to get all these statistics and facts after each round even though it was like you know bananas of fruit because of or bananas of vegetable because of this you know it would just it was really fun like tomatoes are fruit because of this or you you know these are all like random things I make up in my head but like one billion oranges are produced a, you know per year and all from this country like you know what I mean and that was a lot more fun and exciting to me whereas doodle job it was like yeah cool move it around fun it was still fun you know shoot the little monsters you jump on the spring get the helicopter hat whatever I just preferred fruit ninja a lot more so tell me your guys opinions in the comments below because why not um, but yeah, the next and final see um, English, please. Episode in the series is Would You Rather Game for People Who Love TV and Movies. So we'll see how we go in the final round. Anyway, Jurassic right, guys in the next video. Sorry, guys, I'm out. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you guys. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye bye. See ya. I think my voice is slowly dying, that's my issue. For real, slowly dying. Positivity! Yes.